Oz, Pete from WA Camping Adventures. Here with Colin, we're down here at Dontre Castell National Park and I wanted to go through um, Colin's camper trailer because this guy doesn't do things by halves and this is a very, very unique trailer and I, I wanted to show you guys what it's like. So, uh, Colin, you mind showing us through, mate? Be happy to. Yeah, for me. Okay. Rooftop tent. Yes. Uh, what brand is it? It's actually a no, no namer. Yep. Okay. There was a guy on Gumtree who brought them in uh, to sell them off. Yep. The, uh, at the same time, everyone else jumped on board. Yep. I was at the right place at the right time and I got yep. it out of steel. Beautiful. So mate. far, so good. It seems to be doing the job. Awesome. And the awning? Awning's a rhino. It yep. used to be on the Land Cruiser before uh, I went the trailer. Yep. And I've swung across and I've modified the, the fittings. Yep. So it can fit either side of the trailer. Yeah, but you can probably me. see that clearly. Yep. Beautiful. So it no longer lives on the Land Cruiser, it lives yep. solely on, on the trailer. And you can swap sides. I can swap sides very easily. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, all right, awesome. So uh, we'll, we'll do a, we'll go around it now. All so right. what's this for? Just, just storage, storage fuel. Yep. Yeah, it's just a little compartment made. Yep. And we got stabilizer some... bars. I'll yep. flock off a caravan. So yep. I've, if I'm on ground or if I got, I have to unhitch the trailer. Yep. It does get a bit top heavy, a bit wonky. Yep. So, so just slow it lock, and they yeah, they, they lock down and, and keep it all sturdy, so it's not shaking about. It's beautiful. And ramps are built in. Ramps are built in. Uh, custom made. Yep. This was custom made many, many years ago. Unfortunately, the, the gentleman's no longer making them, but yep. he's made them really, really well with a interlock behind the number plate. They spring lock, spring lock out, oh, that's slide right. out, and it's easy for the plug to come on and off. Yeah, and that keeps it in place too. Yeah. Oh, and I've just noticed this too, under your rooftop tent, that's to uh, stabilise it. It's, well, you don't really have to have it, yep. but I'm a bit paranoid being the size I am. <laughs> I put that in just oh, that as a... <laughs> Just to tell you, I sleep a bit better at night not thinking that it's Yeah, of course. A bit of foam on there too to protect it. Yeah, good. Any scratch. Spare tyre here? Yeah, for the trailer. And okay. you can have another spare in that side, can you? Is that wide enough to put a tyre in it as well? It is wide enough, but Beautiful. being the mesh, it's just really designed for fuel, for fuel. or anything else. Yep, that's yep. right. Awesome. And these are, these are those brackets. your awning. Yep. Yeah, these are the brackets on the awning on the other side. Yep. So it depends which side the campsite's on, I can easily take it off. Yep. Swing over to this side and this side becomes my cooking. Cooking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, awesome. And this is awesome here. Oh, the solar, solar panel. panel. Yeah, look, very straight. Sort of uh, Mark One, as you can see, big steel pole. Awesome. Um, that can go into either four poles. If I'm working on, if I'm playing on this side, it goes the opposite side. Yep. But can I mention that this trailer was made by the boys out at MW Steel in Maddington. Yep. Uh, they helped design the trailer, they fabricated the trailer, they put it together. They've made it really sturdy. Yep. I've really got to say cheers, guys. I'm absolutely wrapped in your design. Yep. They, they've even gone to the point where they've extended out the box and they've given me extra storage, which is perfect for the water bottles, the another uh, jerry can, yep. as well as a generator. And possibly a tyre too, again, uh, couldn't you? If you want to, yeah. yeah. If yeah. you want to, I suppose you could. But the way it's set up, yeah, I've got extra water, yep. generator of fuel, all sits in there nice and sturdy. Yep. Don't have to tie anything down, yep. slip in, slip out. Beautiful. Um, yeah, that's good. That's I'm, I'm pretty lazy. When it comes to <laughs> I'm right there with you. Right there with you. Um, I noticed also I can attest to the strength of this trailer. I'll put some footage in now of us cruising up this bloody hill today and it was bouncing everywhere and I, I can't believe it's something's not twisted to be honest with you. But absolutely awesome. So moving around, got a large toolbox here. Yeah, it looks like you have a battery in there yeah. as well. Whoa. I don't know, you call it the hub yep. of the trailer. Yeah, yeah, uh, you've got the solid control panel underneath, yep. which directs out into an LED light, so yep. at night you can quickly switch on to see what you're doing. That sends power up, which you'll see shortly on the opposite side. That's the main side, so it's the side I prefer to yep. be working at. Yeah, gotcha. Um, because you've got the water tank and all that there, yes, which we'll have a look Mainly, yeah. but for some reason I'm comfortable on that side. Yeah, yeah. But gotcha. if I need to swing this side, yep. very beautiful. And long drawbar. I know you've got a nice I've one for ease of reversing. Yes. Beautiful. Reversing, towing, yep. if I need to jackknife and get out of a tight situation, yep. it is it's the best investment I ever did. Yeah, yeah. All my trailers I've ever done, I always go for the extra long. Yep. Um, it does sometimes look silly, yep. but it does get me out of a lot of Nah, things. nah, it looks me. Yeah, so, alright, we'll go around the other side, eh? Check Do the other side out. Beautiful. Right, I run the other side of the trailer now. There's a couple of nice little gadgets here that I wanted to find out for myself what they are because it looks pretty interesting. So, alright, Cole. I'm looking straight at that power box. That power box here. Yeah. All right. Um, again, it's just a small hub. Yep. 
uh, all compliments of Jcar. Yes. So everything, you, everything you see there's from Jcar. So Did you wire that yourself? I've made it all myself. Yeah, yeah. I've tinkered around. Awesome. I enjoyed it tinker. Obviously, voltage gauge, yep. cigarette socket, USB charge kit. Awesome. I have put in like a speaker cable. Yeah, nice. Switches. Yeah. If something breaks, something yep. snaps, I can easily splice the wire and get it cranking again. Oh, More clearly there for lights yep. and bits and pieces. Yep. Uh, and also the switches for I've got LED strips yep. on, on all three sides. Oh, like beautiful! The front and both sides. Yep. So when I'm cooking, again I can choose which side I'm going to be on. Magic. And I'm just noticed down here. Yep. Twelve, 12 volt. on both yep. sides of the trailer. Oh, mint. That's okay. controlled from the inside. Again, if I want extra accessories, yep. extra toys, I can quickly plug in. Awesome. And, and an Anderson plug. Yeah, the Anderson plug. I've done it as a jump start yep. from the battery. So if it's there, just in case. Yeah, Don't yeah. know what for, but it's there. That's magic. No, that's a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. No, awesome. And up here, I see we've got a um, a table built in. Well, very again, yep. basic Mark One. It seems to be working quite well. It's actually yep. lasted me a couple of years. But this table also goes through. <clears throat> you can unscrew it across the bar yep. and swing across to, to the, the other side, to the opposite side. <laughs> very, very, very simple. All that does just locks it in. From <laughs> just stop it shaking. That is so unique. And what have we got here? Water just, tank? Just a water tank. Yep. Again, the guys from BMW Steel. Sorry? How many um, litres is that one? I think that's 30 litres, to be honest yes. with you. Yeah, awesome. And the guys at... Um, BMW Steel, yep. they were kind enough to... This was an afterthought. Yep. I did want to put water underneath mm -hmm. the trailer. Yep. But I was a bit paranoid that I'm going to... Snag something. on something. Yeah. Yep. So we put it up, up top here, the guys just made it fit, which was great again. Thanks guys, we really yep. appreciate your patience on Magic. that. <laughs> um, yeah, and again, at the front, yep. that does convert to, if I don't want to see anything up, I can quickly set up the cook the cooker. On there. And cook across oh, there. That's I've got perfect. the bright light up, I yep. think. Yeah, so Cole, how does it tow though? How does this tow? Tows really well. Once yep. it's fully loaded, you've got yep. the bike, which is around 270, 300 yep. kilos. Yep. With the water, the fuel and everything, I reckon it would be half a tonne of equipment. And it tows very nice. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And holds a nice low center of gravity with the bike underneath, I guess, as it well. It does. It really does. Yeah, yes. Beautiful. Yep, awesome. No, well, that's great. What I'll do, I'll do a walk around of the, um, of the, the quad as well, which, which is quite unique as well. As I said, it doesn't do things in hearts, but uh, let's have a look at the bike now. Cheers.